Hello, so today I will share five quick sensory strategies for stress relief. My name is Simba and I'm a somatic stress and tension release trainer at Living with the Spirit. So let's get right into it, right? So if you're feeling stress, you're probably here. That's why you clicked on this video and wanted some tips to move forward. So sitting up, lying down, let's start by taking a few breaths. And as you breathe, you might not feel calm, and that's natural. So what we're going to use is our eyes to so just look around your environment. And see if you can spot five different objects. Really look at the object as you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Try to feel your body as you shift your attention from one object to the next. Feel your breath. Feel the seat bones if you're sitting down. Feel your feet if you're standing. Change to another object. Keep on switching. Really looking in around you. Different objects in your environment. And I like to use the analogy, if you woke, were to wake up here tomorrow morning, what is it that indicates to you that you're in this space, in this room? What color, what object, what painting tells your brain and your nervous system, I'm in this space? Keep on breathing. And then I'd like to bring awareness to our ears. What can you hear? I'm going to start with external sounds. External sounds is anything from your skin and without. You hear a fan. You hear some birds or some animals. Occasionally you will hear my voice. And switch to another sound. Keep on breathing. Now let's switch to the internal sound. So maybe listening to your own breaths. Listening to your own heartbeats, if you can. And let's switch to the touch sense. Feel the fabric of your clothes on your body. Does your pants feel compared to the shirt? If you have a big dress on, is there a difference in tightness from the upper body to lower body? Is there any pulling sensations? How does the temperature feel in the room? Is it hot? Is it cold? And how does the tension feel in your muscles? 
Do they feel tight? Do they feel relaxed? Maybe bring your shoulders up to your ears and drop them down. Just move your body a little bit. Okay, so next we're gonna go to the smell sense. And I like to use essential oils for this. If you don't have essential oils, you smell your skin. Take a moment, really smell the oil or your skin. Feel what it does to your body, how your body respond, responds to this. See if you can smell something that's not your skin, something that's a fragrance around you, a scent around you. And lastly, you have something to drink. You can just take a little bit of something to drink. And we're gonna try to chew the fluid. This is a little bit funny. Just like you were chewing food. If you don't have anything to drink, you can do it with your saliva. And breathe. And what this does going through these five areas, what you can see, what you can hear, what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste. Those are your five peripheral senses. Those are the senses that allows us to take in the world. And when we connect to these senses, we get out of our thinking mind. We stop thinking about the future or about the past. It brings us right back into this moment right here, right now. And that's the only moment there is. And there's the only moment where you can actually do something productive or good for yourself moving forward. So that's the, mo that's the only opportunity we have. So when you come back to your five peripheral senses, that's when you can really make a difference in your life, right? You connect to what you can see, you can hear, you can feel, what you can smell, and what you can taste. And if you add a breath to that, that you're aware of your breathing, not holding your breath, that will bring you right back into this moment. It will ground you. And that's the opposite of what stress does. Stress makes us feel threatened brings the blood pressure up, the heartbeat, you feel hot, you have adrenaline going on, breathing goes up, and we get very externalized. We're looking for threats in this environment. We're thinking about a perceived threat. We remember a stressful situation that has happened in the past. So using these five peripheral senses exercises brings you right back into this moment, allowing you to take back that focus, that power, and it makes you able to do something about the situation you're in, right? It primes you to use all your resources to do something new, right? And that will give you more energy, more clarity. Um, you will feel more empowered. You will feel more relaxed. You feel more self-confidence, more self-esteem. And when you come to that point, that's when you can make a change, right? That's when you can really start to make a change because we can't really make a change when we're in a stressed state. The body doesn't work simply from there. 
So you really want to have those qualities to get those results. You really want to bring yourself right back. And that's also why we have created our retreat space here in Chiang Mai, uh, Living with the Spirit, where people can come and stay and learn how to practice these tools every day for three weeks as a signature stay. And that really allows you to embody this practice. It won't be something that you forgot to do. It will be like brushing your teeth or going to bathroom or eating breakfast or eating any meal. It will be something that you do habitually in your everyday life, a daily practice. And what that does, it just improves the quality of your life. You can handle stress better. You can sleep better. Pain starts to go away. You know how nutrition affects you, what nutrition feels good for you, your, your personal relationships improves, your professional relationships improves. You will be more able to enjoy your life and to really take charge of your life. And that gives you so much more options moving forward. So that's why we created the retreats where people can come and stay with us. And we have daily classes teaching you a lot of these different areas so you can feel better, stronger, more vital and happy. And these are practices that you can continue to do on your own. So you come here and you learn it and then you take it with you wherever you go and you start to implement it into your life. So if you're more interested about our retreats, you can go to our website, livingwiththespirit.com. You can drop us a comment here below or you can reach out to us in any social media platform that we have and write us and we'll be more than happy to share uh, more about what we do with you. We can get on a discovery call and have a no strings attached uh, chat and see if you're a good fit and if we're a good fit for each other. And if you want to know more about these techniques, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll be more than happy to record more of these videos since I know how helpful they are from a personal point of view. I still use a lot of videos, inspirations from other people as well. And I really find it helpful and grounding at times when I do forget to breathe and do this on my own. So thank you very much for following along today. And I hope you have a beautiful day.